Hey everybody, we're still out on our nature hike and today we are at stop number eight. I can't believe the last time I was on video was stop number two and I fell off the log trying to take a nature nap. Remember that? Hey, so let's introduce you to stop number eight. This one is called Flood Plains and Water Quality. As you may have noticed, most of the area surrounding Nature Trail is floodplain. Low-lying land crisscrossing Passage Creek, braided with dried creek breads and filled with water-loving biodiversity. From where you stand now, you are only a couple of miles from the headwaters of this watershed. What does this mean? This means that Passage Creek starts as a trickle just upstream, forming from the springs and rainwater runoff that flow out of the mountains just south of here. Most of the rainwater that falls in Christman Hollow, Duncan Hollow, and Mor Moreland Gap all gathers in the bowl shape of Fort Valley and flows down this creek. The water is cold, clear, and clean. It is a fine trout stream regularly stocked by the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. Trout prefer the clean, cold water of creeks and rivers like this one. To help protect the water quality, we maintain a generous riparian buffer, a strip of forested area between the creek and any developed areas, such as the Springfield. This allows the plants to hold back the stream bank with their roots, which both filters the water and resist erosion, especially during flooding. From here, Passage Creek continues 20 miles down the length of Fort Valley, then spills into the North Fork of the Shenandoah River between Strasburg and Front Royal. From there, the North and South Forks of the Shenandoah River join together to become one then travels north to converge with the Potomac River at Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, and then continues through Washington, D.C. and into the Chesapeake Bay. Passage Creek is regularly tested for cleanliness by taking a benthic survey. This involves capturing and counting micro-intervertebrates, or large creatures with no backbone, which live in the water. These organisms have different levels of tolerance for pollutants and their habitat, which can tell us something about the water quality. Benthic surveys look for both abundance and diversity of the microinvertebrates found. And just another interesting fact about Passage Creek, according to Mark Hartman, who's a biologist for the Virginia Department of Transportation, Passage Creek is the second cleanest creek east of the Mississippi. Go have a great nature day!